The Arena di Verona each summer hosts the Verona Opera season, internationally famous for the large-scale opera performances given there. It was built in 30 AD and was conceived as a stadium for the games to entertain the Roman government, like gladiator fighting, bloody combats, chariot races, public executions, and bullfights. Where once gladiators fought to death, now mighty tenors and sopranos enliven the stage with the appearance of every tortured passion. It is an extraordinary experience watching performances with the rich sets, the ensemble, the orchestra, the lyrics, the dance company and costumes that have enthralled millions of spectators from all over the world every year. So now let's have a visit to the Arena di Verona. The Arena di Verona is considered the largest open-air opera theater in the world. With its gigantic dimensions of 140 meters in length and 110 meters in width, it dominates the Piazza Bra in the middle of the city. The Arena has hosted most of the greatest names in Italian opera, such as Maria Callas, Luciano Pavarotti, Renata Tebaldi, performing under the conductors such as Tullio Serafin, Riccardo Muti, Jubin Mehta, in productions by directors such as Franco Zavirelli. Its great acoustics and architecture make the Roman arena the ideal stage for large-scale operas such as Carmen, Nabucco, Aida, and Madame Butterfly. The unusually large stage, 23 meter wide by 30 meter deep, is particularly well suited to grand opera, encouraging lavish set design and spectacular production. In most operas, the sets are grand and play a key role in staging of the stories. Temples, pyramids, the banks of Nile, all have been constructed here. Dancers, horses, camels, elephants, all have across this immense stage space in various productions.
blood, sweat, tears, anguish since ancient times until now. Bravo, Opera! Opera is a marriage of the arts, a musical drama full of glorious song, costume, orchestral music, and pageantry. It is the medium through which tales and myths are revisited, history retold, and imagination stimulated. Tragedy dominates the operas in the arena, such as the longing of captives for their homeland the moral conflict and emotions, the desire for revenge leading to death, the love to an enemy of the country, and jealousy leading to murder. So as you enter the arena through one of the many gates and climb the steps, you find yourself on the threshold of another world. <laughs> 